Hello colleagues in the rest of the YouTube world. This is Dr. Dan Baker with a quick video today talking about canvas page themes and also navigation blocks. So the idea of a page theme is fundamentally what your page looks like. Some basic design elements that make up your page that you then can customize to get it to look any way you'd want. And as part of many of the themes, especially for the home page, we have what's called the navigation block. The navigation block is this uh, set of six links right here. And I'll show you how to create and edit and change both of those. So first of all, you do need to go into editing your page. And when we go in, to editing our page. I often will hide this um, left-hand bar just to give myself a little bit more space. But notice in the upper right, there is a little rocket ship, launch design tools. We need to open up the design tools sidebar that's always available to you in that upper right. Now, the settings for today are just gonna be under create and edit content. So we can click on that menu option. And here we have choose a theme. So the current theme is selected is the flat sections main. And you can see there's actually a, a pop-up window that comes you want to see kind of a preview of what that looks like uh, you can click on anything else that you'd like um, they're all generally similar um, I've just picked the flat sections main for my home page uh, I use actually a different one for some of my other content pages but you can just see like I said that you can preview any of those by clicking through and that will basically create a nice template for you to create your content now getting into the navigation block and that is going to be under a different tool here, edit or add or edit navigation block. So clicking on this one, you can see that you're not limited to six. Six isn't the magic number of items in your navigation block. You could actually have as few as one or as many as you wanted to add into here. You can choose how you split the list and how do you split the list will basically look at how it creates kind of columns of your different links. You can move these up and down, it will change their order. Now, one thing about these is these fundamentally, once you create them, they just become editable text. And so say you wanted to change the link to your suggestion box, I use an external tool for that. Um, you could do that. You also, if you wanted to, I'm gonna close design tools here for a second so we can see this underneath sidebar. And if you wanted this syllabus link right here on the right, you can go highlight that as your syllabus, go to your links, your course navigation, and then click on syllabus. Now, one great thing about any of the links that you click over here in this right sidebar, as you copy your course from one semester to the next, it will maintain the correct link to your new class. Okay, so my syllabus from a previous semester will come over as the syllabus link to the new semester as I copy over my new class. So once you get these links set up, they will just basically persist. Now any external links you will need to update uh, each semester. So you will have to work with that. But a few more things here in the navigation block, you can actually change the icons if you want to. Click on the icon, you can search by word and, and choose a new icon. You can also look at categories looking at there's over 2000 icons you can select from. Now it's up to you what kind of items you wanna put into your navigation block. I actually like to put in a little bit of duplication of things that are already in the left-hand menu, things I really wanna emphasize, things like the syllabus. Most of my other links as you see here are either external links or this is actually a link to a page I've created with the overall kind of reading schedule, course schedule and course objectives. And so it can link directly to a page. And so you have flexibility what you link to, but this gives you an additional place to put links so your students can easily find them. Hopefully this video was useful to you and that you're having an awesome day.